Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to be playing you 20 hot blues licks. Blues is really important as an element of jazz, of country, of rock, of bluegrass, of western swing, a whole lot of other genres. So if you're playing improvising without any blues then you're really missing out. In this video I'm going to be showing you licks which are short, usually just two bars long, and can mostly be played all the way through a 12 bar blues sequence. They're going to be in the key of G, I'll play them simply and then I'll play them with, with a few variations. So I'm not going to be talking about blue scales, about majors and minors, I'm not going to be talking about flat thirds, flat fifths and flat sevenths. All of this I'll post in another video if people are interested. It's often a good idea to really concentrate on just the blue note itself. So that one I'm sliding up to and down from the blue note. A variation would be uh, sometimes you'll slide up from the blue note. Uh, here I'm going to rock between the blue note and an open string. Let's hear those three together with some backing. Sometimes instead of rocking between the blue note and the open E, you can play both together, get a real nice dissonance. So we got this lick. And it's sometimes a good idea not to start your lick on the beat, so you syncopate it, either starting just after the beat or just before the beat. So you might have one, two, three, four, one. Let's hear those two with some backing. Now we've got three licks with more of a shuffle feel. Um, that's a nice one. Uh, several licks with triplets. See those three together. Now sometimes the note that the, um, the lick is based around, like this one, that's going to work on your one chord but it's not going to work on your next chord. So sometimes you're going to have to modify the lick. I'll show you what I mean by that. 
is what I call the harmonica lick, which is a kind of a trill preceded by a slide. Here it is with a few variations. similar feel. Gypsy Jazz blues licks, the kind that Stefan Grappelli would use. So, a, a slide up to and down from the fourth finger is a nice one. Uh, he did a lot of licks where he had a parallel fifths. Uh, these were often um, chromatic runs, so. So, that we can add. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the melody on the lower of two strings, but I'm also putting my finger across both strings and you're hearing a parallel fifth above. And we've also got... A really nice chopping lick. So let's hear those three together. syncopated licks with Stuff Smith and one of his favourites was um, repetition of a syncopated note. One, two, three, four, one. Or the repetition of a downward slide. Let's hear those with some backing. some bluegrass licks and um, this note is often referred to as the high lonesome sound in bluegrass context so we've got uh, here's another one and a great chubby wise lick I'll, I'll do that one slowly And 
let's hear the three of them together mixed up. enjoyed this if you want to get a sheet with all of these licks written out uh, if you subscribe send me an email then I will send you that PDF there's more information in my uh, three books beginning jazz violin exploring jazz violin and discovering rock violin all of these have plenty of information about uh, blues playing and blues technique if you've got any questions about the theory behind this at some point in the future I'll be posting another video explaining that uh, or you can post a question below or send me an email I'll play you out with a nice rocking blues.